Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So, do you guys want to check out a yarn ball winder? An automatic foot pedal yarn ball winder? I do. Let's do it. So, this is the um, Ashford brand foot pedal yarn ball winder. And the reason why I smile so much is because I waited over two months to get this. Um, I'll tell you what happened real quick. Like, I ordered from a small yarn company. I won't mention the name because I don't want to bad mouth any yarn companies. And um, I ordered from them, and then a few days later, they said they were out of stock and they had to make more. I guess they're mad. I think they said they were made in New Zealand. And asked if I would would wait. I think it was like six weeks, and I said sure, that's fine. So I waited, and then nothing ever came so I contacted that yarn company and they said well uh it was like some holiday in new in that time in New Zealand and that that it would get shipped out the next week so I waited a couple more weeks I think and I emailed them and it still hadn't shipped it from New Zealand so because it's uh I don't know. And I said, well, can you just go ahead and cancel that order for me then? And they did. I, I don't really know what happened. But anyways, so then I just went on. on uh, I looked it up again. Um, Ashford, uh, the automated or foot pedal ball winders. And I seen that there was someone on Etsy that sold them. And they had them in stock. So, uh... I just, it came, I don't know if they're dropshipper on Etsy or whatnot, but I'll put the link below from the person from Etsy I bought it from. It came in two days, so <laughs> I'm super excited. I don't really know what happened there with the, like, why it took so long with the first company. I mean, they probably were out and they had to make more, and maybe I just hit this person up on Etsy just at the right time. Maybe they it just got them in. I have no idea. But anyways... This came from a person from Etsy, probably, a, I don't know where, it says from uh, Pennsylvania, but I, I'm not sure. But I'll put the person's Etsy shop in the description box. They have the, uh, some Ashford winders and some other, uh, uh, you know, yarn material or yarn utensils and whatnot. And, I think sewing utensils and stuff. Anyways, enough of that. Let's open this up. I'm so excited. Astro's a really good brand. Like, these are... This is going to be solid wood. Like... I'm <laughs> so excited. Oh, it's got staples in it. I'll go around them. And then we're going to test this bad boy out. Okay. Oh, I opened it on the, the bottom. Oh, the top doesn't even have staples. Bag of day, what's wrong with you? I'm just too excited. Okay, here we are. Sorry about my clock. Okay. Let me flip it because I got it wrong side. <laughs> I'm just excited, I guess. I waited for so long for it. So. That was just a, a heavy box. There was nothing in there. Okay. That was the name of the Etsy shop. The Spinnery store on Etsy. But I guess she has a dot com store too. So, anyways. George, get out of here. Okay. I'm making sure I didn't, I didn't lose anything here. Everything just kind of fell out on me because I opened it on the wrong end. So, <laughs> George, get this paper. Yeah, the spinnerystore.com. There it is. That's where it came from. Only, only I bought from an Etsy shop, so. There it is. Oh, it's so heavy. Look at this. 
So this is foot pedal automated. Foot pedal. I'm so excited to, to uh, I'm going. It smells like fresh wood. Mm. Okay, so there's like, you're adjusting little things on off switch. I imagine it'll probably take a little bit for me to get used to this adjusting the speed and whatnot for the foot pedal. Ashford, made in New Zealand. Nice, very nice and heavy. That's a that's a nice that's a nice piece of machine right there. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just excited about it. I'm just excited. Let's see what all it came with here. So here is our uh, plug-in. Shut my computer here. Let's see what else we got in the in the brown brown box. What's in the box? Okay, it's the foot pedal. own machine pedal I guess only it's this is better <laughs> it's pretty heavy and here's your plug-in adapter thing instructions the e-ball winder now Ashford makes different winders this is the the foot pedal edition now these are not cheap actually they're pretty pretty pricey um, I'm gonna see how well it does because I really like my stand wood, you know, my hand cranking, but I'm lazy and I don't like the hand cranking. <laughs> but, no, I think these would be good if you, if you, if you like, wind a lot of hanks. I think that this would be really good. So, um, this is just, uh, welcome to the Ashford world of spinning, weaving, and textile crafts. So, this just shows kind of the stuff they sell and whatnot, you know. Whoa, they saw some big stuff here. Whatever that stuff is. For weaving and whatnot. Looming and weaving and winding and everything. All oh, looks very nicely made. And this is more just stuff. Oh, it's patterns. It's weaving patterns if you weave, I guess. Okay whatever okay I don't do that stuff so I want to look at the uh, e-ball winder so that's what we're looking at here so you will need a swift I guess I have an umbrella swift I have a Stanwood umbrella swift so that's what I'll be using or it says you can use a uh, Skeener number two Skeener 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 however you say it and then the umbrella which is what I have or a yarn stand those are interesting I want to get one of these in one of these and try them out yes I'm going to for a review and I'll compare it to the umbrella swift because a lot of people use Hanks and then I can do a comparison I've never um, I've seen these I don't think I've ever seen that before have you ever heard of a yarn stand a yarn stand I'm gonna I'm gonna get one and try them out next in comparison with with the umbrella swift, uh, and that I've, I've seen the ski. This is called is a. This is this is a Skeener. Ferris wheel. Yeah. The, Skeener or Skeener. Well, however you say Skeen, I guess I say Skeen, not Skeen, but then Eorthian. Yeah, I'll look those up. So, and then I'll compare them to the umbrella swift for those of you that use these these or the regular. Uh, winder, and we'll see which one's better. But anyways, How does that thing work? Did you use it? <laughs> no, not yet. Awesome. I'm gonna watch your video when you're done. No, don't watch my vid. Yeah, I'm watching. Okay, so this just sets on the table, and it's heavy enough that it's not gonna move. You don't have to like mount it down or anything. That thing is amazingly nice. I'm not sure how it works, so but we're gonna find out oh there's how-to videos on YouTube okay yeah let me stop for a second and I'm gonna get some tables set up here I should have had that first but I'm sorry I was just so excited I had to look at it okay I got a table here so it did come it does come with a table mount if you want to use that which I might do that but I'm not gonna do it right now but you just mount to the table like uh, Kind of like a, 
it's just got like a leg and this can I think this is for part of the mounting so this is mounting stuff if you want to mount it I'm not going to do that right now I think it's this is just a temporary video here and it's pretty heavy I don't think it's going to move I hope I can do it so then it has this band here which I think I got the worst table ever here to show you goes around this big wheel here and this metal piece here so you gotta go around this way so that hooks like that nice nice okay and then we have the foot pedal which I hope that it's long enough that hooks over here on this side here yeah this says foot switch you'll be able to see it plug that in there and then set it down oh I can't wait I know I'm gonna mess oh I know I'm gonna mess up but that's okay because that's how we learn right as long as I don't tear it up and mess them up because like I said it's not it, it's kind of an, an expensive piece of machinery um, if you wind a lot of hangs I think it'd be quite useful um, and then we have the power adapter oh no I'm gonna have to get an extension cord I think no I can plug it in up here my desk has a plug-in hookup amazing huh I hope it works. I hope it uh, will plug into it. Let's see here. Let me see. I'm gonna get it plugged in real quick. All right. So I got it plugged into my desk here, and I had to unplug my computer and everything. But it's plugged in, and then here's your power plug, which just goes on the other side here of the foot pedal adapter. Got a little spot there. I think. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a little foot pedal, uh, you know, try just to see if it runs before I do any winding with it. Oh, I have to turn it on. Okay. <laughs> There's an on switch. Okay, over here. There's an on and off button. I'm just excited. Normally that wouldn't have happened. It probably still would have, even if I wasn't recording. Okay, there's the on button. Now let's try it. It's flashing. It says it's on. Okay. I don't have something right here because it's, the on button is flashing. Okay, I found out what I meant. So my on button is flashing, which means that it's on standby. It's waiting. Um you have to set your there's a speed button here that you can adjust the speed so right now the speed button is on zero that's why i'm flashing red it means it's on standby waiting for you to adjust your speed and this right here will turn it clockwise or counterclockwise so i'm going to go ahead and set my speed up here and see what happens i got my foot pedal down here There is kind of going kind of slow. Let me go faster. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Let's load up. So I'm gonna put it back to zero, because it said that it's inevitable that it's gonna like um, you know, that you might mess up. You'll have to get used to it. So I'm using um, a hank of hand-eyed yarn from my very good friend Gary from the YouTube channel Urban Yarns. He hand-eyed this for me. I actually have a pair of fingerless gloves uh, tutorial that I made out of this exact yarn. I'll link it below. You should check them out. They're amazing. And this color is beautiful. Thank you so much, Gary. But this is, I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to hang up. I'm going to cake up. So... Gary is an amazing knitter and amazing crocheter designer and um, knitting designer and a yarn dyer and a potter and an artist. He's just an overall amazing dude, man. He's the coolest. You'll love his channel.
Look for his link, the link below. You won't be disappointed, trust me. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels. So let me go ahead and put this on my Swift. As I mentioned, I have an umbrella Swift right here, which is the Stanwood brand. I bought it off of Amazon. Stanwood has a store on Amazon, so let me load this up on here. You know, I'm not a huge fan of these Swifts. I, I mean, they're okay. It's all I've ever used. But, you know, maybe I'll, uh, like I said, I'm going to try them other ones. If they're, like, not as big and bulky and they work just as good, I'll use those. All right, so let me get cut these ends off these hanks here. I'm so excited to try this ball winder. I'm going to make sure nothing gets in the way of it. Okay. And here's the ends of the yarn. So I'm, this is, like, a three-weight yarn that I'm caking up. And, you know, Hanks, they all got their little ties on them. I'm just super excited to start. Okay, here it is. Let me cut this. And then, okay, we're ready. Okay, we're ready. Let me, I'm going to move this back so it's not so much in the way. And I got a bunch of crap in the way over here. My gosh. Okay. I got to make sure my Swift doesn't hit all the crap in my room. All right. So it's said to... I hope this, this Hank doesn't tangle up while I'm using it. Okay. Said all you need to do is run it through this eye. Right here. Let me turn it to the side a little bit. So you run it through the eye of the the loop here. And then there's a notch up here. Like that. That's what it says to do. Okay. And then it said to start out slowly. And it said that it's important that you keep the same tension the whole time. Okay, so and it said to try to hold it at a 45 degree angle, your yarn. Oh, I got to adjust my speed here. It's on standby still. Okay. And then that said, once you get a few, wait a minute, my yarn's tingling. Okay. A few revelations on it to pull the yarn down. And there's a, like an indent here to where it's in that indent. And this yarn's coming off the this backwards which is never a good thing but I'm gonna speed it up in a second don't worry you know back with day is gonna do this fast I just got to get my hank on here right it's backwards let me flip my hank over that's on my um winder because it's on here backwards and that's never good when it comes off the wrong way you guys can turn me off if you want my bag of days about to get buck wild on this machine and make it go super duper fast. <laughs> and I don't want to tear it up in the process. You know, I might not have it far enough away from the Swift because it might be getting tangled up on it. Okay, let me try it out now. Should I keep it at an angle? Yeah. You know, I think I need it to move it farther away. I know, this is slow, isn't it? it? Needs to be speeding up. Well, time for bag of day to go full speed on this thing. Okay, I'm going to turn it up full speed to see what happens. I don't know how fast it's really going to go, but we're about to see. Don't stop me now oh i'm having a good time okay look at that i'm keeping the consistent ten tension the reason why i'm holding the yarn over here with this hand is because i think it needs to be farther away from the swift um because it's hitting the ends of my swift if it was farther away i don't think it would do that so when I set my permanent spot up for it, uh, a desk, I'll set them 
farther apart. So this is full speed. Yeah. Faster. Come on now. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's cool. It's cool. And I just got my foot on the pedal. It's going full speed. I don't have to crank anything. You know, that's nice. Oh no, my tension let loose. My tension let loose, that was my fault. My foot slipped off the pedal for a second. I got the pedal to the metal. You know, I like it. I thought it would go a little faster though. I know it looks like it's going really fast. It is going really fast, I can't say that it's not. But. It beats winding it by hand. Gosh. I remember hand winding when I was little. Because the lady who taught me to crochet told me that I would never be a good crocheter unless I knew how to wind balls of yarn. And I know now she's just doing that to give me the winder balls of yarn by hand. <laughs> my ball don't look like... I don't think I did it right. I don't think I pushed it down correctly. My ball looks funny. Oh, it doesn't. It's a perfect cake. It's a perfect. Oh, it was just going so fast. I couldn't tell. It looked it looked all wonky because it was going so fast. But look. Oh, oh, just like Stan would. But no cranking. Look at that bad boy. That's nice. That was fun. I want to do it again, but I'll do it off camera. Now you can use, as with, this This is perfect. It works great. It's amazing. It's way better than hand cranking. Let me put this with now. Okay. It's way better than hand cranking, and I like it a lot. I'm glad I got it. it like I said, though, it is an expensive piece. It's an investment. Um, it was $550. So um, I did save up a little bit of money to get it because um, I knew that I wanted it. I do use a lot of Hanks. Um, so that is another reason why I got it. Um, so it would be like an investment piece. That's what it is for me. And it was, an, you know, I, I saved for it. I got it. I like it. It's cool. I don't have the hand crank anymore. I'll set up a little desk with this on it and then my switch, but a little bit farther apart. And I can just put pedal in all day long, you know, and then I have, okay. Now that is a fine piece of machinery. And to me, it's worth every penny of it, I think, because I'm going to get a lot, a lot of use out of it. Now, it's beautiful. Like I said, it's it's a fine, fine investment piece. Um, it's made extremely well. It made an excellent cake. You didn't have to hand crank it. And, it, and yet, it's very simple. You know, it's a very simple piece. And it looks quite nice, actually. Um, it's It looks very nice. It has special oils you can buy to keep it, you know, in pristine condition. I don't know if I'll go that route, but it's still a really nice uh, piece of piece of equipment there. But I do have still this Stanwood winder, this metal one, which I won't get rid of. I will still keep this one, and I will probably still use it um, occasionally. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. I it served me well. For many, many years. And it will continue to serve me for many more years to come. Um, it won't, I don't ever see it breaking. This too is a fine piece of machinery. Um, the Stanwood brand is what I always recommend on, on these hand crank winders. So you hand crank it. Um, the thing is with this, so... Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. I've used it. It's it's done its job, and it will continue to do its job. I will still keep it. Um, sometimes I buy big hanks of yarn, you know, like the Powerball and other big hanks of ball hanks of yarn, and those take a long time to hand crank. <laughs> 
So this would be this is this is a, would be a better choice for me when I'm using big hanks of yarn, or even small hanks. You can see it did quite well. Uh, it caked it up, and you don't have to even use hanks. You can use it on uh, skeins of yarn as well. You can cake up your skeins of yarn. People that have these balls or these these winders, they'll uh, cake up their skeins of yarn into cakes and stack them on their shelf. Of course, I never recommend. Um, winding any hanky yarn unless, or any well any yarn at all unless you're getting ready to use it because it does stretch the yarn but that's just only my recommendation a lot of people cake up their all their yarn so it's stackable and easy to access but that was a lot of fun wasn't it I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'm gonna play with this some more I'm like a kid in the yarn store and no I'm like a bag of the day in the yarn store that just found a new toy like Say this was setting up there in the yarn store for display and you could try it out. I'd be there all day caking up their yarn for them. That's what I'm going to do right now. No. I might try it on some skeins of yarn um, that I have. Not No more hanks because like I said, I don't cake up anything until I'm going to use it. Because um, I don't want it to stretch. But I have some scrap yarn that I'm going to cake up. Yes! I'm going to cake up my scrap yarn. I'm going to go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to be honest tonight. It's going to be so much fun. Scrap yarning. Caking up my scrap yarn. Make a nice neat pile of scrap yarn. That way when I donate it, it's not a mess. See you guys later, okay? Take care. See you on my next video. I got a knot in it. It was my fault. <laughs> this was a skein of red art. I let a couple knots go through. That was my fault there at the end. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's.